Hey, so you probably heard of Clubhouse, which is a real-time audio app, which is blowing up right now in top charts everywhere on App Store. Or maybe you heard about Twitter Spaces, which is a new real-time audio feature in beta from Twitter. So these are the two competing apps in this niche of real-time audio. So Facebook still didn't enter this space. Uh, but there is another app, Telegram, uh, which is uh, which positions itself as more secure messenger. So and this app just announced voice chats to zero, which is basically a real time audio feature where you can start uh, voice conversations in Telegram channels or Telegram group chats. So in this video, I will show you all the features, how to start a voice chat, how to record it, how to invite people, how to share invite links, how it works, how to save recordings, all of that. Uh, yeah, and what you need to, to start using it. Yeah, so why Telegram? So Telegram gained a lot of traction recently. Uh, I think in January and February this year because a lot of people started to uh, switch from WhatsApp because WhatsApp announced updated privacy policy where basically it hinted that the WhatsApp data will be shared with like Facebook data and the people were not happy about it and they switched to more secure apps like Signal and Telegram. And now when Telegram just got more and more users, they're introducing this voice chat feature so let's just dive into it i will show you all the details so here is telegram app so telegram app recently gained a lot of users because lots of people are switching from whatsapp because of privacy policy change so a lot of people switching to telegram or signal which positions themselves as more secure messengers so anyways Recently, they released this new feature, which is called Voice Chats to Zero. And basically, it's a competition feature to Clubhouse or Twitter Spaces. It means you can have real time uh, like voice chats here. So the cool things about it is that you can have up to millions of live listeners. So if you are using like Clubhouse, you know that they had like a cap of like 5000 listeners, 8000, maybe now more. Here it's just millions out of the box. Uh, and then, of course, if you have like a massive channel and public group uh, with hundreds of thousands of followers or participants, you can just uh, start this group chat with millions of uh, listeners. It's like public ra radio reinvented for the 21st century. Then you can record chats uh, and then save talks. You can record voice chats, uh, which will be instantly available in your saved messages. You can raise hand. Uh, so for example, if you muted your participants, you can just tap to raise your hand. You can allow members to speak. Uh, you can share and invite people to be as a speaker or listener. Then you can change voice chat titles. Uh, so that's that. and. Um, there you have it. Uh, so there are some uh, Android swipe gestures and also these voice chats are available in channels. So let's dive into it. So here is Telegram. You can have a voice chat either in the channel or a group. So let's try to do it in the channel. So here is how to start a voice chat. So obviously you need to update to the latest version of Telegram and then tap in top right, tap on these three dots more and then just start a voice chat. So that's that. Uh, and then you started your voice chat. Of course, there is just one participant because it's just a test channel, but uh, here it is. You are muted by default. You can tap here to unmute and then you will see this kind of green the text that you are speaking and green microphone you can mute your back in you can tap here and adjust your volume uh, so that's that also you can switch to the speaker 
So yeah, you can talk and switch to a speaker, which is cool. Um, so here you can just uh, hide it and continue with the app and maybe also switch to the other apps and just listen to your chat. So then uh, if you want to invite other members, just tap invite and then you can invite also like other channels, other just uh, personal members. And there are two types. You can invite as a speaker or as a listener. So as a speaker means that you want to invite this person to participate with you in the discussion and other people will hear your discussion. So in Clubhouse, it's called a stage. So if you want someone else to invite you to a stage, that's a, a speaker link. If you want just to invite more listeners, you can basically search and invite either channels. So you can invite entire groups to your voice chat. So let's just copy a listener link and here how it will look like. So it will be just your like telegram channel URL question mark voice chat. And when the, the person receives that link, they just need to tap join and then they will join your voice chat in telegram. So that's super easy and cool. And then there are other features. So you can uh, change your voice chat title and uh, you can just edit the title of this voice chat. That's cool. Again, you can just share in white link uh, from here separately. That's how you invite people here. Um, and another feature which you don't have in Clubhouse or Twitter spaces, it's called recording. So let's try to do that. I'll just start recording you need to name it Ouch. Uh, participants will see that the chat is being recorded you will see the specific sound and then you will see that this uh, red kind of circle uh, next to the name of your voice chat and you will also see this kind of quick text notification and then, so at the moment, this voice chat is being recorded. And yeah, so participants know about it. I don't know exactly what are the community guidelines in Telegram about it, because like in, for example, in Clubhouse, you need like to ask for permission. You need to have a consent from like speakers uh, of the Clubhouse room to get it recorded and then later to share it. I don't know if, if in Telegram you need to have all of that. So for example, if you recorded this chat, can you share it uh, elsewhere? What are the community guidelines? I don't know all of it. Anyways, then you can just tap stop recording, stop. And then it's saved to your saved messages. So let's just locate it. So I continue. And then I can just go to my saved messages and here is my recording. Then what I can continue to browse Telegram and also like other apps and the chat, the voice chat will continue and then I can access it again here. Uh, so that's that. Uh, and then finally you can just end voice chat. So there are two options. You can leave or you can end. So if you leave, I don't think the chat will end. So if you just leave the voice chat, people will continue to participate and speak in that chat. If you end voice chat, uh, it basically means that this voice chat will be over and it just ends. So this is a bit like different options. So there you have it. Uh, so in this quick overview, of this new cool feature. So what do you think? How does it compare to Clubhouse or Twitter Spaces? Would you try it out? Are you using Telegram at all? Um, so that's just that. Anyways, let's just end the voice chat. Here it is. So far it's like super simple, uh, really nice, simple design, uh, user experience, user interface. And yeah, I, I'm actually quite surprised that they delivered this kind of level of functionality so quickly. And there are so many features like recording, like invite uh,
people, listeners, speakers. And yeah, so that's cool. Uh, so try it out. It's a free app, Telegram. Uh, you can create your account for free. And that's that's basically it. Uh, so please like this video. It's super easy for you just to like it so more people can see it. And just uh, then subscribe as well to see more videos and new cool apps as soon as possible. And also visit my website, mrhack.io, to see more cool apps. You can become a member there and just join my newsletter. I also have a podcast. So just basically all about these new cool features or cool apps. See you in the next videos.